Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the iPad camera connection kit to connect the iPhone 4 to the iPad. Now this will allow you to transfer the photos and high def video files to the iPad. So let's see how that looks. Now all I've done is connected the USB adapter from the iPad camera connection kit, connected it to the iPhone using the USB dock cable. All you have to do is connect this to the bottom of the iPad. Okay, as soon as you connect the kit to the iPhone, the photo gallery app automatically launches and this will allow you to import the photos. Now you can see I have both photos and video files and the video files are designated by this little video camera icon in the bottom lower corner. And of course they're in this widescreen 16x9 format. So I have the option to import all, but I would like to just select a few to import. So I'm going to select this one all the way through to that one. You can see I have blue check marks. Once I've done selecting the photos I want, just select import. And I'm going to say import selected. So you can see the spinning icon while it imports the photo and video. The green check mark appears once the import is complete. So it's just going to go down the line until it's finished. And of course the photo files go much faster than the video files. Okay, the import is complete. I'm going to keep the files on here, so let's say keep. So these video and photo files have been transferred to the iPad's camera roll. So let's go to albums. Let's go to last import. These are the video files and photo files I saved. And let's see how the video file looks. Let's rotate this to landscape. So we're in landscape mode, let's play. Now when you tap the video, you're given the scrubbing bar up here, which you can tap and scroll around with. So that will take you to a scene in the film. In order to trim it, you just tap and hold the ends. And your trim options come up. Now all I have to do is grab the end and scroll to uh, the end of the scene that you want to keep and click trim. So you have two options, trim the original or save as a new clip. I'm going to say save as a new clip. Now it's trimmed the video and it's resized the scrubbing bar. So you can select the scene you want. Once you're done trimming your video, just go to the send icon and you can email the video, send to mobile me, send to YouTube, or copy the video. Now copy video is unique to the iPad. You can take this to other apps or to an email. Now let's take a look at some of the photos I took with the iPhone 4. Now if you zoom in, you really get a good idea of just how high quality the iPhone 4 camera is. And when you put that on an iPad, it's even more amazing. So you can see quite a bit of detail. Once again, guys, this is Detroit Bork showing you how to import video and photo files from the iPhone 4 to the iPad. Thanks for watching.